has power. Que palabra de Dios tem poder. And when you understand the power and the word of God, y ahora cuando entiendes el poder de la palabra de Dios, you will not play with it any longer. No más se juega con él. I pray that this year you will not play with the word of God. Y pido ahora porque hay que no más se juega con la palabra de Dios. John 6:63 Juan 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickened, the flesh provided nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The spirit is the of the vida. The carne no vale nada. The palabra no come in papel bozo, the spirit is the vida. So they are spirit. The vida is the spirit. They are life. You see, when you start to study the Word of God, you see the truth of the Word of God is very simple. Jesus said, the Word I speak, they are spirit, they are life. The Bible says in the beginning was the Word. The Word was the God and the Word is God. The Bible says God is the Spirit. You can see how three of them are the same. I call the Word of God. The Spirit of God written down in paper. That's what I call word. And that's what Jesus said. The word I speak. They are what? Spirit. And now it is written down for us. In the paper. Which means anytime I am studying the word of God. Which means anytime I am studying the word of God. Which means anytime I am absorbing the spirit of God inside me. Which means anytime I am absorbing the spirit of God inside me. And the amount of the Spirit of God you have will determine the power of your character. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And when that Spirit was upon him, what happened? He did something that amazes me. In short, the Bible made it very clear in John 3, 34, it's not here. Say, he that speaketh the word, God, Dios, give it the spirit without measure. The amount of the word you have in you, determines the amount of power you can. Para determinar a quantidade de poder que você carrega. Why? De como? The word of God is powerful. É a palavra de Deus que pode nos ser útil. É a criativo. That's what John chapter one verse one to three says. Isso é Juan um um de três para isso. Let's read that. John chapter one. Juan um. One to three. Um um de três. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was the God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything that was made. No principio estaba la palabra, y la palabra estaba con Dios, y la palabra estaba con Dios. Estaba en el principio con Dios. Tú puso mi existencia en medio de ti, y fuera de ti nada de lo que te existí. No había existencia. There is nothing that will be made today that doesn't have the origin from the world. No hay nada que va a trabajar hoy que su origen no comienza en el palabra. What foolish man I met recently said God is not the one that created money. Un hombre bobo no tope último último aquí el aviso que Dios no es un hombre blanco. I said because you lack knowledge. Me dijo ni así que por su falta de conocimiento. God created everything. Dios ha creado todos. He said, tell me how God created man. Y Dios va a visar mi con Dios otra plata. I said where did it come from? Me dijo ni fe un da papel. I said just three. Me dijo palo. You know that where it come from three. Vos sabes que es de bien fe palo. Me dijo que no. Porque te puso eso. The note he used. E nota é papel que você vai receber. Está bem. Está palo. Tree that is cut and transformed. Palo do ouro cortado, transformado. Você não sabe? 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 Você não s
Mundo sa? Tapos from three. The coins. Where is it from? Gold, silver, no color. Where did it come from? On the ground. So what I told you, huh? You see, people, people don't know God. And they don't know about ignorance. When God spoke the world into being, He spoke everything. What we are doing now as human beings is we continue from where God stopped in creation and we are creating things. All that you are wearing today is from God. Shoes. From, from, from letters. Where does the letter come from? Animals. So you trace everything that man is going to produce today. They will end up in the it was the word of God. This is why when you carry the word of God, you can see someone that is sick. Receive your sight. That word you spoke, because you have studied it, you have eaten it, it is a spirit in you. In the spirit of the when you release it, you are just releasing God into that situation. And when you release God into that situation, you release power into that situation. And that is why the enemy doesn't want us to stay in the world. Because when you stay in the world, you carry the same power that God carries. That's what the Bible said in Jeremiah 23, verse 29. Is my word not like fire? My word not like hammer? Not like hammer not like Is it not like hammer? That destroy rock into pieces. Question is, when a child of God is in the world, you can destroy any evil. Then my question is this. Why are Christians afraid of evil? You know why? Because we are out of the world. Why? The same word created the devil. And the Bible says, for this purpose, God sent his word to destroy the works of God. If you know the value of the word of God, you will minimize how many hours you waste in watching television. How many? You will minimize how many hours you waste in a lot of things. I was here since morning. I came to service my client. I thought uh, the, uh, the, the, the cabinet will finish the service in before uh, three of them go back. And we said if we take them, they will finish by six o'clock. I said, okay. okay. Holy Spirit said, I'm not up here. Spirit Santo, well, me to say, I did. He said, start to read. And I was reading. And I said to myself, it is a very long time I have so much hours to read. And I tell you, when you read, you grow. Don't waste your time. The word of God is powerful. I start to write a book immediately, and I begin to tell you, and I say, wow. 
when you don't put something inside, nothing comes out. Spend your time in the world. You will see and you will experience the power of it. That is why Jesus said, go to the book of John. John chapter 15. And see what Jesus said. John 15, verse 1 to 7. You see, there is a, a, a great deception in the church. There is a great religion in the church. At times it pains my heart. I don't know how I'm, 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 I'm never tested religion. I've never been in a religious circle. Nunca me estaba de el círculo de religión. No podía. No solamente que nada. Go to churches. Va a iglesia. The two things. De dos cosas. That we are we Christians. Que lo equipa cristiano. To have victory in life. Para la victoria de vida. That is what we don't attend. De dos cosas nos no da a tener. Prayer. No da oración. And Bible study. Y estudio bíblico. Churches are full on Sundays. Everybody worship. But when it comes to studying the word of God, less than 10% of church members come. When it's time to pray, less than 10% of the church come. No wonder Christians are strong. Because two weapons God has given to them to live victoriously. They adopt it. And they follow religion. And Sunday they bath. Paint. Look fine. Raise a hand. Go back home. Live the dead life. Throughout the whole week. John 15. I am the true vine and something from this one. I am the true vine and my father is the husband mother. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he pudgeth it that it may bring forth more fruits. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you as a branch can not be a fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can he accept you abide in me. de mí y a mi esposo, mi esposo errama no por cada fruto de su mes. Si él no queda de mano de buen rey, así no vos tampoco, si vos no queda de mí. I am the vine, he are the branches, he that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. A mí está de mano de buen rey, vos no te ramona, es un que queda de mí, y a mí de yo, es seita de nuevo de fruta, vos no vas a separar de mí. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Si un hende no queda de mí, el tabuado tirará fuego de manera un rama y está seca, y gente de recoge, recogiendo y de tirando en candela y no tabuado quema. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Si vos o queda de mí y de cada una que de vos o, pide tú lo que vos o quiera, y es algo lo que vos o así o vos o. When the Lord called me as a pastor, por el Señor y el mami como un pastor, I ask one thing. Ma, ma pondré un vos. What will I do? Qué cu lo me hace? To make sure that I pastor that it grow. pastor And he said, <laughs> teach. Teach. Teach the word. 
Siana e palavra. Eu quero ver a minha mulher com mim, e eu não sei o que eu estou fazendo. If you watch churches all over the world, in Africa, in Europe, in America, the churches that people are having victory in their lives are churches that teach the world. I can never forget. The churches where you see babies every time. Iglesia na kamina po tami ra yuchi ng turora baby. I was listening to 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 my tomorrow my brother Morris meeting. Mi asko chado ang tamaas mo ro na e kwento di. He said you will be a good pastor. Ela bisa lobo to ang bom pastor. Or you will know that you are a good pastor. Lobo sa si bobo ang bom pastor. We don't have less prayer requests. Ora kubo din tiki petition di oracion. Which means you are teaching good. People that you are pastoring, they are growing. They have no problem. They can handle their problem by themselves. Do you know there are some churches every Sunday when the pastor finishes, the line of our prayer request is from here to the other place. And who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think? Para ele não receber o chão tá largo. And it continue every day. Antes de seguir todo dia. Of who come to church? Of who come to church? Shalala, 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 shalala. Dá para ser na minha shalala. Dá para ser na minha shalala, shalala, shalala. Go outside. É da vai para fora. Head to his house. Vai em sua casa. He don't know how to handle his or her problem. Ele não sabe quando ele com o seu problema. E é por isso que muitas pessoas querem ir. Então tem na minha ainda que vai. Ele não quer tomar a palavra. Ele não quer tomar a palavra. Mas a palavra tem poder. Mas a palavra tem poder. Mas a palavra tem poder. Jesus avisa. A verdade é que você sabe. 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 So if you abide in me, si vo queda de mi, my word abide, mi palabra queda de vo, what do I want? Lo que se vo que yo can act, lo oportunidad, there is power in the word, el poder de palabra. Don't ever play this game with the word of God. E hay que no hunga que palabra de Dios. Make the word of God help you know that there is power in the word. Ah, si el palabra ya que vo sa. And God is saying that it is the year of power. I received the prophecy of this year from Brother Kevin Ministry this afternoon. And I told it to my mind and I said, Sweet, read it to us. And I said, the year of power for souls. Ainda vitória. Don't play with the year. No há se o erro é ainda. Because the year you are going to run very fast. Da é ainda o que pode correr de dia. Because you are not running by yourself. O seu corpo não correndo para meio de dia. O da correndo para meio de dia. If you are walking before this year, you are going to run. Se botar para cá na primeira que é que eu vou dar corre. This year you are going to fly. Se botar para cá corre ou ao é bem que de burlar. E como você vai poder de Deus? Está vindo de uma boa. Cumpre o que o Deus quer. Tem poder de falar. Pero si aceita mi sus de tu voz, tu mister toma el palabra de Dios. Más bueno aquí nada después de nacer de nuevo. Rápido aquí un poco de después de nacer de nuevo. Of the Spirit of God. Nace, nace de nuevo de Espíritu de Dios. God expect you to abide in Him. Dios te forma ti como algo que da de ti. Which is His word. Puta su palabra. I said the moment you cut yourself from the word. El momento que boquita bomes de la palabra. You cut yourself from the source of the power. Boda quita bomes por el fuente de poder. And start the Spirit of God. Y boda bomes a hambra Espíritu de Dios. In you. Dembo. Because. Por sobra. All it needs from you. Todo lo que bo el mister de bo. Papa alimenté, consumes. 
Can I say it again? God wants you to feed him Dios que va with himself. What is that himself? His word. Su palabra. The reason you see that people are not growing. There's very far that they have the Spirit of God inside them. Let me give you an example. If you get two babies, they are born natural. natural. Because some will say, but if the Spirit of God is there, why can't it grow? Let me show you why it doesn't grow. You are born again of the Spirit of God. God just fired His Spirit inside you. As a newborn baby. In Christ. You're going to feed that baby with them. That's what the computer said, the milk of the world. But what happened if you have two babies? And these two babies were born very early. The same time, the same day. There's a twins. The same father, the same mother. And now they set one aside. Don't feed that baby. Feed the other one. Feed the other one for the next two months. And feed the other one very good for the next two months. After two months, bring that into the list. It is different. It is not dead. Si es un modo muerto. Why? Digo. Lack food. Y falta alimentación. Lack food. Y te falta alimentación. Lack baby, no lack food. Y yo te he dado falta comida. And the spirit of God inside you. Espíritu de Dios de mo. Lack food. Ora espíritu de Dios de mo y falta de comida. The flesh. E carne. We subdue the spirit. The spirit of God is not dead. But it is subdued. I'm going to teach it at the end of the day.